I guess this is the calm after the storm. After we've been preparing for some two years for the CSEC agricultural exam that we sat on the 2nd of May 2025. It's time for us to prepare for other exams and move on. We like to say it is now water under the bridge and being that it is water under the bridge, we have to just brush off, dress the bruises and move on. What was it like for you? Share with me in the comment. I'm going to be looking at question number six from that paper, which actually looked at rabbit rearing. Might I say, at a glance, I thought the question was a genetics question. But luckily, I spared the time to read the question before attempting to answer. So Johnny has implemented a breeding program to increase the number of rabbits on his farm. He mates the male and the female rabbit shown in figure 3 below. So what I did, I tried to understand the flow diagram and the blue writing gives my understanding of the flow diagram. So male rabbit mated with female rabbit. The sperm comes from the male rabbit through ejaculation. The egg comes from the female rabbit through ovulation. When the sperm and the egg fuses, the, the process is known as fertilization. From fertilization at B, down, we are looking at the same female rabbit. The rabbit is now experiencing or going through what we call the gestation period that's at c then the rabbit is going to give birth a process we call kindling to what we refer to as kits or kitten so what i did for me i try to identify what's happening at each letter before i attempted the questions below now it says on the diagram in figure three label the reproductive process at a and D. What that means is that for your exam, you should only label A and D. For my video, I am doing it for training purposes, so I offer a little more assistance that persons can follow the diagram. Outline the difference between the reproductive process at B and C. So at B, we had the fusion of a male and female gamete, a process that is called fertilization, which will lead to a rapid division of what we a rapid div division uh, by mitosis, and we are going to have here for the first time that which we refer to as a zygote. The zygote will develop into an embryo and then the embryo into a fetus. But then after we would have had that rapid, uh, rapid division after the fertilization, then is, we are going to have what we call implantation. So after B, the whole process up to D, that period is referred to as the gestation period. So B represents a fusion of the egg and the sperm, a process known as fertilization, while C represents zygote formation, implantation, and embryo to fetus development. This process is known as the gestation period, which actually takes about 28 to 32 days, and average about 30 days. The next question requires of us to state the average length of time it takes for the female rabbit to move from fertilization to kindling. That's from B to D. It's about 30 days. Then look what we have here. Farmer Janice was concerned about the poor level of fertility among her breeding herd, which has negatively impacted her farm income. She attended a livestock workshop hosted by the Ministry of Agriculture. The Agriculture Extension Officer advised that farmers need to consider 
estrus synchronization that is pretty much a process in which all the animals will come and eat at the same time so you can pretty much breed all the animals at the same time to have them somewhat uh, go through patrician at a similar period as one management practice that can increase the level of fertility of your animals and the profitability of a livestock enterprise we are tasked list four benefits that farmers can derive from the use of estrus synchronization in the management of their livestock herd so the first thing you're going to find is that we are going to have improve breeding efficiency and one might ask we're not required to explain but one might ask why is this important if we think about the farm as a business enterprise and everything has to be managed then you find that the cost to manage these these animals that are um in the process of giving birth or in the process uh, to be bred or in the process of gestation whichever the, whichever part of the process the breeding process it requires careful management and if we can get one person to manage several animals instead of one person to manage one then naturally this is going to drive your cost down secondly we are going to have a uniform birth season so you can just uh, pretty much dedicate a time a week a day that I have to be on the farm to ensure all is well during the patrician process thirdly it enhances the effective use of superior sire so the male that you are using uh, it might be artificial insemination you can use pretty much the best sperm from the best male to make them at the same time and be very efficient at the process that might be a little cheaper than to get your vet or your animal breeder to be there over and over to breed the animals you can just do that one day and that's it now another thing for it the labor cost and saving they're saving um in labor and cost for the breeding of an animal so the, those four are for big reasons why estrus or ostrus synchronization is important to the farmer our final question is to suggest a time in the reproductive process that would be best for scheduling estrus synchronization for farmer janice janice's female livestock now estrus we, we should schedule estrus synchronization before planned breeding breeding that is before of course the breeding phase once the animal is reproductively ready what that means the female are healthy cycling and at the appropriate stage postpartum or maturity that is when it is best to schedule your estrus synchronization now we've just looked at the may june 2025 agricultural science single award paper two question number six we do hope that you did your best in your egg in your exam and you did score the 10 marks until we next meet please be reminded you can join us for biology or human and social biology marathon to make sure for those exams you are going to be acing them until we next meet what good